Welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Chad with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we have another five guns uh, video for you. I don't know. I don't know if this can be called a five guns video or maybe five guns. It's hard to narrow it down to five guns, but uh, yeah, you guessed it. This <laughs> is five guns. guns that Hillary doesn't want you to have. Now I know, I know, we, we've probably beat this horse to death to some degree, but this video does have some certain truth in it. Uh, the question is, what guns does she want you to have? Would we could. Be, well, we talked about clearing the table off and just introing the video with nothing on the table. It's like, okay, yeah, there's the video, guys. Sorry. Right, see ya. <laughs> yeah, but this is five guns that Hillary didn't want you to have. As many of you guys know, uh, Hillary Clinton is a very anti-gun. Well, let's no! just leave it there. You know, let's just, no! let's just leave it there. So you don't her say. track record on guns is definitely not favorable. She does not support the Second Amendment. As many of you know, unless you've been living under a rock, she is a uh, presidential candidate. Uh, at the time this video is being made, of course, we don't know who's going to be president yet. But the whole kind of punchline of this entire video is if she does become president, She's obviously going to push for tighter gun control measures in a lot of different ways, mm -hmm. and some people think that she's going to push for some very draconian and uh, horrible gun control. We don't think. We pretty much know that she yeah. has a proven track record. Uh, yeah, part of her proven track record is uh, she supports universal gun registration, which ultimately leads to universal gun confiscation. Yep. So, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is she does not like the citizenry owning the same type of weaponry that the military owns. Bottom right. line, you know, she thinks that you know everybody should own. Okay, oh, you just need a hunting rifle and a shotgun, right. and that's it. Oh, well, we might take those away too. Well, it's also uh, common knowledge that she does support a you know Australian style mm -hmm. gun ban, gun confiscation. Uh, basically, she does sim not like semi automatic. So, the guns that we've selected here uh, kind of fall into that uh, type of arrangement. Now, obviously, there are many auto loading guns that uh, she certainly does not like. I mean, really, anything that's an auto loader that <clears> has <throat> Really, really any gun. I'm pretty sure that if if she had her way, that we would uh, pretty much be working with like sticks and rocks. Pretty much any firearm that accepts a magazine, a detachable magazine, and fires you know one round per trigger pull without actuating the bolt, then she wants to ban it pretty much, and yep. e even more so than that. But we don't even have an AR on the table because I mean, kind of an AR is commonplace. Of course, she wants to ban AR-15s because they're the u ubiquitous black rifle. All right. Well, I let's mean, go uh, with the first one. So. Why are bullpups uh, more on that forefront than an AR would be? Bullpups are kind of interesting because you've got a... All right, so this is an IWI to bore. This is an X95, okay? Great so gun. bullpups have a full-length barrel, yet they retain the shortest legal configuration that you can have a long gun in, you know, a, a rifle, per se. So you got 26 inches, correct? 26 inches overall okay. length and a 16-inch barrel on your, uh, your barrel length on... on um, on rifles, on mm -hmm. shotguns, it's 18 inch, mm -hmm. 18 inch barrel. barrel with a 26 overall. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a nice short compact package. You get full velocity out of most service ammo, and uh, this this is pretty much the same length as far as like a 10 and a half inch or so configuration in an AR-15 would be in like an SBR format, like uh, say a Daniel Defense Mark 18. So, I mean, Eric's got a tiny little guy here. So that's a seven inch barreled AR. Let's just compare these two. So. She's tiny. It's tiny. Like a single sugar puff. All right, this requires NFA tax stamp in order to uh, have an AR in this kind of short configuration. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the stock is extended. This is one of the uh, Troy PDW, PDW stocks, which is an excellent little setup there. That um, thing is tiny. Anyway, I'm going to put that back up, but, but to show you the size comparison. It, this is kind of a big middle finger to everything related to gun control laws. You know, it's, it's a short, compact package. It doesn't break any laws as far as you know legality goes. It can be imported into the country, no problems. You can put a suppressor on the end of it, and it still is as short or shorter than like a standard carbine would yep. be with a can on it already. The point is, you better believe that anything AR-15 related, if it takes an AR-15 magazine and fires semi-automatic, whether it's a bullpup, an AR, a pistol, whatever configuration the gun is in, she wants it, she doesn't want you to have it. Uh, that, that much is known. These either. I mean, standard capacity to magazines, Yep. She hates these. Yeah, she doesn't want anybody having 30 round mags. You better believe that magazines are going to kind of be on the list. So moving down the line, we've got an, an AK here. Now, AKs, <laughs> this, this, this is my SBR. This is M92 pistol that's been SBR with an ace folder on it. Um, in order to have an AK in this type of configuration, it does require a $200 tax stamp. Um, so anything AK related, the problem with AKs, and 
it's not a problem to me because I'm an AK kind of guy, but where a lot of these gun laws and everything and these politicians tend to dislike AKs is because of their cosmetic appearance, you know. Some people just associate an AK with bad guys and they think, oh, well, because a civilian owns an AK that you're a bad guy and everything like that or you're going to be a criminal or you're, you're trying to, you know, you're up to no good. Or just the fact that they're scary looking, a lot of these bands that kind of get shoved down our throat, like you look at the original Clinton band. Oh, wait a minute. That was Bill Clinton, right? Hmm. Is, wait, is, is, is that Clinton related to the Clinton that's running for president? It's the same. It might as well be the same person. So the problem is the original Clinton band. So wait a minute. We have a, pre, a preface to this. This has already happened once, right? So but the original Clinton band, they banned a lot of guns based solely on cosmetic features. Mm -hmm. AKs are scary looking, therefore, oh, ban it. It's scary looking, let's ban it. Yeah, they banned a number of firearms by name and then also cosmetic features. You know, right. we've, we've gone over this in the past. There's plenty of videos out there on the subject, but yep. I mean, it, it's just stupid. You know, okay, well, oh, it's, it's an evil looking gun. We've got to ban that because it's scary looking. Yep. And, uh, you know, you shouldn't own it because you can hurt yourself. That's right. So, or other people. you know, AKs, Tavors, ARs, anything like that, you better believe mm -hmm. they hate it. They don't want you having it. Moving down the line, we got a P90 here now. PS90. Um, PS90, yeah. Semi-auto. I wish we had a real P90. Semi-auto P90, but um, these are great. In my opinion, this gun really, to me, represents the ultimate in personal protection, personal defense weapon. You got a 50-round magazine, semi-automatic, very ergonomic, very kind of futuristic in terms of, uh, you know, it's a completely ambidextrous bullpup. It is a bullpup. Uh, now, granted, the barrel is pretty long on this because, again, to fall into that restriction of 26-inch overall length, you know, a real P90 has a barrel that basically stops right here at the end of the gun. and that's like why 10 this, inches. That's why this hand stop is there, mm -hmm. and the proper way to grip one of these is to put your thumb through there, and you hold the gun like so. Man, those things are just so wonderful. And that stop keeps your hand from going in front of the muzzle. Now, on this, it has a 16-inch barrel, and this, this gun, in its current configuration, pretty much falls right into the same type of stipulation that the Tavor does, but you've got a PDW that fires intermediate cartridge, 50 rounds in the mag, ready to go, ready to rock. Awesome, awesome, awesome setup. You better believe they hate those types of guns. You know, and the ammunition for this rifle, I mean, it's it's plentifully available, and there's a lot of surplus stuff out there. There's a lot of new manufacturer ammo, but the cool thing is a 50-round mag, fully loaded, I don't even know if it weighs as much as a fully loaded AR mag. Very, very lightweight when you have a full loadout, which That's is right. crazy. That's right. Such a fun gun. Oh, yeah, they, they certainly are. They certainly are. There so uh, I, I really am a big fan of the PS90. It's one of my favorites. As you can see, it's outfitted with just a, a nice one power ACOG, which is a great optic for this gun. The Tavor over there is sporting a three power ACOG, perfect for that type of rifle. Moving down the line here, this is number four. Uh, this is a SCAR Heavy. So anything that falls into a semi-auto battle rifle configuration, M1As, mm -hmm. FALs, uh, PTR91s, and G3s, G3s uh, whatever. Uh, what else am I missing? I mean, you're talking uh, uh, AR-10s, mm -hmm. SR-25s, uh, M110 stoners, in this case, SCAR Heavy. Um, this particular well, rifle... That, that's 308, though. That that can't hurt you. I mean, 556, five, that's that's bad. Well, 308 is okay, I mean, right? Yeah. Well, this particular rifle, that. you know, this one's kind of one of my life and liberty type guns. You know, this is SCAR Heavy. And this has got one of the new Steiner ICS, which is an awesome, awesome range finding optic. This is something that we are going to be doing a video on. Mm -hmm. So not only does it find the range for you, it also gives you a firing solution. So you set the optic on this thing uh, to whatever ammo you're going to use. Like say you're going to run M80 ball. Mm -hmm. You set up M80 ball. You zero it for 100 yards. You actuate the sight. It gives you the distance in meters or yards. Mm -hmm. I think you can change it either or. You can. Uh, it gives you the readout in yards or meters. And then it gives you a firing solution. You just simply use whatever hash they give you for the firing solution and you lob the round in, no problem. This one's outfitted with an SDN6 uh, AAC suppressor on a 51 tooth mount. So 16 and a half inch barrel, 20 round magazines. It's auto loading, semi-automatic. It's got a Geisley trigger in it. This is a great rifle for a wide variety of different purposes. Hunting, personal defense, you name it, th this rifle is there. It's also got a folding stock. So this rifle has <laughs> many, many features that the current administration and especially Hillary administration would certainly frown upon. They don't want the populace having suppressors. 
They don't want the populace having auto-loading rifles. I mean, this know, pretty much represents everything they hate. I know. I mean, you know what's crazy to me is, you know, I, we were talking about it at lunch earlier, but with like the SBRs and things like that, there was a, a bill that, you know, they were trying to get through the House in Georgia here a while back, and it was basically a uh, an assault weapons ban that mirrored pretty much the federal ban back in 94 and everything. And um, any NFA item was okay because it was registered. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to register all my ARs and I'll be, I'll be good, right? I mean, it's just the... Don't think like it's that. Just, <laughs> it's just so arbitrary. It's like, okay, well, we want to ban all these guns, but you can keep those because we know about them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, come on, give me a break. It's a bunch of horse crap. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff. I mean, and guys, we're certainly not saying that she's the only anti-gun one because believe me, there are many more politicians that are anti-gun and that share uh, the same type of values. Well, if you can even call it a value, but share the same type of... Uh, wicked principles that Hillary does when it comes to your gun rights. Uh, another area that we could surmise that would fit into this video well is auto-loading shotguns. Mm -hmm. um, anything that's semi-automatic, pretty, pretty much. much I mean, anything that auto-loads, you know, they're they're definitely against. But more deadly. You know, this um, this Benelli M4 here is a law enforcement model. It's got a collapsible uh, stock, pistol grip. It's semi-automatic. It's got a rail system, ghost ring sights, high cap tube. Well, I say standard cap tube, but it's got an eight shot tube on it. And this is a really, really awesome shotgun. That high capacity clipazine. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you know, they, they really can't stand. It looks kind of scary. Yeah, they're scary looking and they just can't stand a, a type of shotgun like that. What does that do? It's the thing that goes up. So like guys, I think like where it. you can really see that we're going with this video is anything auto loading and another area in here that we didn't even discuss is things like Ruger 1022s, target mm -hmm. pistols, uh, you name it, if it auto loads, they oh, hate it. 22 is okay because it can't hurt you. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, so every video has a wild card, but I feel that for this particular video and this five guns, we're going to actually do two wild cards, okay? <laughs> so the other wild card is things like, uh, all right, you know, here I've got a Glock 19. You know, it's just a regular old auto loading uh, semi automatic pistol. And your, your typical magazine, you know, you're talking like a 15 to a 17 shot nominally. Uh, magazine that most modern handguns are generally going to have between a 15 and maybe 19 shot magazine depending standard, on standard the grip size. Standard capacity in handgun is however many TAM rounds will fit right. in the grip. I mean, you know, but things like the 33 round uh, Glock mags, mm -hmm. you know, they definitely hate this kind of stuff, you know. Uh, Hillary certainly <clears throat> doesn't want you to have a handgun. So we've talked about this in a couple of other videos and everything and, and we've talked about the idea of you know, if, if you're wanting to get some type of a gun or get into some type of a gun before there's some potential for a ban. Like, we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. you know, guns to buy before a potential ban. Well, could you treat a presidency like that? If, if Hillary is elected and we know the background of the Clintons and we know her stance on firearms, then could you surmise that the rifles and pistols on this table would be a good investment for somebody who was wanting to kind of make themselves... Uh, kind of proof, more prepared, more prepared yeah. or, or make them a little bit more gun <laughs> control proof by having them in. I, I hate to use the word speculation, but I mean, it's one of those things, you know, you it, it, just because a president gets elected, okay, that may not be favorable to gun control or, uh, or gun rights, it doesn't mean that things are going to change right overnight. I mean, you've right. got the Supreme Court to worry about, you've got the Congress to worry about, you know, so we don't know how the congressional uh, elections and whatnot are going to go this year either. I mean, this is this video is being filmed about a month prior to the elections happening, so no one knows yet. But it's just one of those things where there's a lot of worry out there, and there's actually not as much fear buying as one would surmise, especially no. like like what we had after Sandy Hook forever ago. We've made videos about that where we've talked about the actually the, the recent video, yeah, the recent yeah. video we put up where there's been like perceived fear buying and things like that. I think it's a perception kind of thing. I mean, how people feel, the political stratum of the country is going, how they feel things are going to go. Uh, these guns are, to me, represent uh, what they hate the most. Anything that allow you to uh, maintain an independent mm -hmm. lifestyle and to live free and to defend yourself and your family, they don't want you to have it because they want to have a monopoly on violence. They want to have a monopoly on deadly force. Mm -hmm. And they want to have a monopoly on everything it requires for you to live your life. They want to have control of that, and they want to dangle it over your head. Yep. And uh, that's very scary, I well, believe. Gun control pundits, I mean, really the big scheme of things, they want, they, they want, you know, the, the whole idea, oh, yeah, get the big boy out. 
they, they like the whole idea of, okay, well, if you're a gun owner, then you only need a gun for hunting, and that's it. So you just need a bolt action, you know, 308, or you need a little lever action 3030, and you might need a, a little single shot shotgun or something like that just to hunt and provide for your family or whatever the case is. Well, guess what? That's not what the Second Amendment is for. Yep. And we've said it before, <coughs> you know, the Second Amendment is there for tyrants to be put in their place if the need ever arises by the general populace. Yep. An armed populace. So, so last but not least, here's a Barrett M107. I just, mean, this pretty much just a Barrett, represents you know. uh, pretty much the top end of the spectrum in terms of civilian firearms ownership in the United States. This is a eight power, no, it's a six power. It's a six power. That's a six power ACOG that's got a 50 BMG reticle in it. It's got a tan finish. It's a, a 10 shot auto loading 50 BMG. Uh, and an 18-year-old in the United States can go in any gun shop with enough money and buy one of these. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and I support people having 50s. Yep. I don't really see where the big deal is. Yeah, 50 is the largest caliber the uh, individual can own without any special paperwork. You get into anything above 50, then you're talking about a destructive device. I mean, you can own a 20 millimeter, but you have to file special paperwork just like you would for an SBR or a suppressor. That's right. So. There's a lot of things we could go into in this video. I don't want it to be forever uh, in terms of length, but I did. appreciate you watching, and hopefully this uh, allowed you to glean a little bit of information. Uh, I think you can clearly see that you know ARs, AKs, auto-loading shotguns, PDWs, bullpups, those are definitely in that realm. High Battle rifles. High-capacity clippers. High-capacity high high uh, pistol clippazines. magazines. Really, any handgun, they don't want you having it. I mean... We've already seen proof of where certain jurisdictions, like certain places in New York, where, oh, well, you could have a 10-shot mag, but you can only load seven rounds in it. What the hell kind of crap is that? So there's a lot of things like that that go on, and it's very much uh, dependent on jurisdiction. It's dependent on individual municipalities having their own ordinances, their it's, own restrictions, their own like, laws. It's like the new stuff that's coming out in California with the Proposition 63, I think, that's going to be on the ballot in November. Okay, so yeah. they're going to be voting on whether or not, you know, your 10-round mags or whatever that you've owned for however many years, 20 years or whatever, during the California yeah. uh, gun control and all this and mess. Nobody's gotten wh hurt. Whether, <laughs> whether or not those are going to be illegal and you're going to be a criminal overnight yeah, for yeah. owning that mag. I well, mean, guys, here's Here's something else break. important to think about, and we're going to, you know, kind of close this video out here on this note. It, you know, yes, we're poking a little bit of fun at Hillary, and Hillary suffered a little bit at our expense. No, we video. do have free speech in this country. We still. do have free speech. However, however, one thing that I will mention on the other, the other side of the token, it's not just one person that makes up your government. It's not just the president. It's your Congress. It's all the people you elect. It's mm -hmm. all your representatives. It's the Supreme Court justices that get brought in. Guys, if you're not happy with the laws and you're not happy with the way things are going where you live, then vote the people out and get somebody in that will. So, you know, there is a system in place. There, there's supposed to be checks and balances. Sometimes we don't feel like things go our way. Sometimes we may not get our way and feel like we're being, you know, led in the right direction. This wasn't necessarily meant to be a stab too much at Hillary as a per. Well, actually, yes, it was. But... On that token, you have to understand that she's not the only one. There are many, many other politicians that do business in this country on a regular basis that are very anti-gun and that would gladly sell your rights down the river for their own benefit in a heartbeat if they could. They all fall into the elitist category. You That's know, right. Do as we say, not as we do. And you can't have any of the things that we have. Yep. Pretty so guys, quick. that's something to think about there. We appreciate you watching. There's five guns Hillary doesn't want you to have. I, I, well, th Seven. there's definitely a lot of them, uh, but this is the top five, okay, if you could consider it that. So there's five guns that Hillary doesn't want you to have. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Many more videos on the way. Guys, make sure you subscribe to our email list and stay updated and everything like that. We have many more on the way, more five guns, more gun gripes, more firearms facts, reloading videos, meltdown videos. Guys, we do so much as a YouTube channel. These aren't the only videos we do. Make sure you go and check out some of our other stuff as well. So thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Take care, guys.